Hey guys, Kevin Martin here for Zubin.com, ZubinSports.com. Uh, just a little recap of last night's WrestleMania. It's late because I have a very severely infected molar. Um, last night, the pre-show with uh, Usos winning, it, it just felt like such a throwaway match. It's not, not even worth mentioning, really. But the Triple H versus Danny Bryan match, pretty decent. Not perfect, but... Nice to see Triple H can still bring in Daniel Bryan, of course, every match. He's always in it. Uh, the Shield vs. New Age Outlaw and Kane. Wow. Um, that was a pretty much useless match. Of course, it showed the dominance of Shield, but it's just... There was no reason for that to be on the WrestleMania. It was not a WrestleMania-worthy match. Uh, then the Andre Giant Battle Royal. I want Big Show to win just because of his long career. So I deserved it. I have zero problems with Cesaro uh, winning it. Because he is just the, his strength. He's going to go huge this year. Um, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Wow. The the fate that the WWE has in Bray Wyatt. WrestleMania versus John Cena. Versus year like this. Huge and well deserved. I greatly look forward to Bray Wyatt's matches. It's just... He just has that it thing when it comes to wrestling. He just get the get the fan interaction, the pop. It's good. Uh, I was actually hoping he would win. As you can tell from my predictions, the video I uh, I still suck at picks, but I'm okay with that because I don't go by. I say who I want to win, not necessarily who I know will win. So it's rough. Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker. Holy shit. This match was so freaking out of control, and you could tell right away that Undertaker, there was something wrong. Of course, it turns out that he had a severe concussion. You could see it in his eyes. For him to struggle and have to go through that ending, I don't know if that ending was what they had planned or not. They had to improvise. But holy shit, the streak's over. Seen every Undertaker WrestleMania match, and well... It was a sad moment. The looks on the fans, I've never seen a stadium that quiet. It was like someone died. Okay. Now, of course, the the girls' match, the Vicky Guerrero Invitational, that was actually pretty fun. It wasn't perfect, but I had no problem with that being. I enjoyed that more than I enjoyed the Shield versus Kane and the New Age Outlaws. Uh, Randy Orton versus Batista and Danny Bryan. Now, this was a great fucking finale. Uh, the the Randy Orton and Batista did the RKO Batista bomb on the thing, and then Randy came down on the TV. Holy shit, that hurt. That was a great move. Now, Danny Bryan, of course, prevailed. <laughs> no matter what, Triple H threw at him. So, it was a really great finale to the WrestleMania. Which may be one of my favorite ever. And, well, I think it's awesome. Hopefully wrestling's back on a good track. So much possibilities without the bullshit. And that's it. I'll see you tomorrow night when I talk about Raw a little, probably. It's a little late. Raw's just ending. I, haven't, I did it during commercial break. Many, many commercial breaks. So, thanks a lot, guys. WrestleMania is awesome. Make sure to check it out when you get a chance. WWE Network. nine 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 a month. The six-month commitment. 60 bucks. The, the stream was flawless for me. And I'm not getting paid, of course, to advertise or anything, but it's worth it. So, WrestleMania recap for WrestleMania 30. Zoofing out.